The man in the video who threw that punch is Stephen Moore, and he joins me now live for this exclusive interview. Stephen, thank you so much for, for coming on the show tonight. Take me back to that night. That sure looked a lot like it was a rescue. Is that correct? Um, somewhat, yes. Uh, it wasn't intended as a rescue at first, but um, when we pushed us out of the apartment, which he, we didn't grab her and pull her out, we uh, got pushed out when he said it was time to go. And I said, hey, you know, like Abby's supposed to come with us. And from that point, pushed us out, and I had to uh, call her phone repeatedly to get a hold of her to come out of the apartment. Because I don't think she had even realized that we had left yet. But she was originally and, and supposed to come afraid? with us. was she afraid? Could you tell? Could you tell, uh, Stephen, that she was afraid? Um, no, she didn't really seem to be um, aware of the situation or the way that we had pushed out, been pushed out of the apartment. But she was still, like, kind of in the main living area. And we were down that hallway, like when she had walked through the door and the fire hydrants on the right. We were about right there before I realized that, oh, yeah, you know, Abby's supposed to come with us. And then we got shoved out the door from there on. And, you know, I called her probably so let, a let, good 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah, take. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Take, take me past mm -hmm. this video. This is a very short 10 second clip. What happened when you ended up downstairs on the first floor and the elevator doors opened up? Um. From there, we got outside, and that's when he had sucker punched me back. So, I mean, one for one. But um, he had split my lip open, and I got uh, three stitches down the middle of my lip and uh, had to get those stitched up to the hospital like a few hours later. So, so Stephen, Sean Williams mm -hmm. took the stairs as you guys were going down yeah, in the he, elevator he and, and, and met you down there to continue the mm -hmm. fight. Yeah. And then I had spit my bloody okay. teeth in my hand and handed them to Abby, which is kind of graphic. But um, uh, basically, here, hold these real quick because I was going to go back and continue the fight. But then uh, Zeno, or sorry, uh, the guy in the in the elevator with us had pulled up in his Jeep as he had left when we got outside and ran straight to his car. Got in his car, drove around, picked us up, and we took off because uh, Sean Williams, Williams at that point was um, calling 911 for me assaulting him and, and as I whatever. Yeah, as I understand it, you're you know going to the ER, getting three stitches in in your lip for that. He's calling the police and suggesting that you're the assailant in this one. But did he not get charged for for what he did to you? Um, did, like, did you feel like he was getting some preferential treatment from the police? Um, I'm not really sure because I never it never got past that point. So he called nine one one. I never had to speak to the police. We left went to Zeno's or um, the guy's house. And we hung out there for a few hours before I got dropped off at home. And I had to call my parents to come get me because I was like decently drunk still. And they came and picked me up and took me to the hospital to get stitches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read on, a few of these um, these text messages if I can. This is the, these are the text messages that, um, that Sean Williams sent to you after he had basically split open your lip and, and caused these three uh, stitches. He wrote, see you in court, punk. Thanks for the pool stick. You sucker punch like a girl. And he included a picture from the elevator. And then he says, finally got your address today. I'll be filing those charges tomorrow. And then he wrote, you didn't do S-H-I-T to my lip with that sucker punch. I heard a guy busted yours so bad you needed stitches, though. No. Sounds like he's trying to say someone else uh, busted your yeah. lip, but it's not a guy. He, it was him. He, yeah, he didn't want to admit in, in chat, I believe, that um, that he was the one that uh, assaulted me back because then he'd be incriminating himself in any kind of legal battle. So he was going to take me to court for um, uh, civil assault, I believe, and... I did get served a court date, went to that court date, and the court date never actually existed, which is strange in itself. Well, given what we know about him now, uh, that he is on the run and he's a fugitive and he has his own myriad troubles with drugs and porn and rape and all of these allegations, um, yeah, sounds like he's not much of a plaintiff anymore. Um, Thank you so much for this, Stephen <laughs> Moore. I really appreciate um, you filling in some of the details on this really bizarre mystery and, and really, frankly, scary manhunt. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.